Here we will show how to open and start a push-button start Chrysler, Dodge, or Jeep built after 2010 with a dead key fob battery. And yes, there is a way to get in and get going. The procedure will depend on whether your car has the old style key fob as shown or the new style key fob used in cars built after 2010 as you see here. If you have the old style key fob with the square tip, look for another video from us describing the procedure. Here we have the newer rounded key fob and our first step is to retrieve the mechanical key shown separated from the fob. Turning the fob over, look for the mechanical latch at the top of the back of the fob, slide it to the side and then pull the key out with your free hand. Insert the mechanical key in the key cylinder at the back of the driver's door handle and turn and you're in the car. And that's all pretty dull. But we're ready to start the car. We have a new Jeep Grand Cherokee here that uses the new style fob. Place the nose side of the key fob against the start stop button and push to operate the ignition switch while stepping on the brake. The vehicle will recognize the fob even with a dead internal battery. And you're on your way. Don't forget to get new batteries for your fobs. For help with other push button start cars with dead key fobs from other manufacturers, look for more videos here from us on YouTube or go to dashboardsymbols.com.